Humans are already losing habitable space to sea level rise, and a new study focuses on ice sources that might be the next to melt. So you combine Greenland and Antarctica, and you're looking at maybe 30 to 40 feet of sea level rise um, as a result of climate warming that could happen, uh, let's say, within this century. NCAR scientist William Lipscomb just completed a study that used NCAR's ice sheet computer model in combination with ice sheet models from other organizations and universities. He says the most encouraging finding was that about half of the predicted sea ice melt can be prevented, but the time to act is now. Now, now ice sheets are, don't respond very quickly to climate change, but once they get started, it may be uh, effectively impossible to reverse the retreat. So decisions that human beings make now will affect, possibly determine the evolution of the ice sheet for decades and centuries to come. Lipscomb says they ran their computer models under the scenario that global temperature rise was stopped at one and a half degrees Celsius. That is the temperature goal of the Paris Agreement, an international collaboration of countries committed to reducing the human impact on climate change. The United States just rejoined that accord in January, a move that Lipscomb says was important despite our country only contributing about 15% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. I think having the U U.S. be part of the of the group of nations who are trying to solve the problem is really critical. I don't see how the problem is solved without without leadership from the U.S. Again, speaking as a citizen. Meteorologist Corey Repenhagen, Nine News. Scientists estimate that the atmosphere's temperature has already risen by close to a degree Celsius since 1900, so there's only about a half a degree to uh, to get to before we reach that target threshold.